Dear students, welcome once again to my session. The last part of your syllabus is the self-study component. In this self-study component, three topics have been prescribed in your syllabus, namely applications of ordinary differential equation to LSR cubes and equations solvable for x and y and this particular equations solvable for x and y is coming under the topic nonlinear differential equations particularly differential equations of first order and first degree. So let me consider first equations solvable for x and then y and lastly the applications of ordinary differential equations to LR circuits. Equations solvable for x. Equations solvable for x. If the equation is solvable, if the equations are solvable for x, then we can express that we can we can express that we can express x explicitly explicitly in terms of in terms of y and p y and p where p is dy by dx Thus, equation of this term, equations of this term can be written as, can be written as x is equal to f of y comma p y comma p or this as equation 1 differentiating this with respect to y we get differentiating differentiating 1 with respect to y, we get dx by dy is equal to f of y comma p comma dp by dy, dp by dy. All this as equation number two. We differentiate part, so we end up with this expression equation 2 equation 2 is a differential equation of first order in p and y is a differential equation differential equation of first order first order in 
y and p y and p suppose the solution of two suppose the solution of the equation two is phi of y comma p comma c is equal to zero. Call this as three. Suppose this is the solution of two. Now the elimination of p between one and three is the general solution of the given equation. Now elimination now elimination of p of p from 1 and 3 from 1 and 3 elimination of p from 1 and 3 gives the required solution gives the required solution required general solution general solution if p cannot be eliminated if p sometimes we cannot eliminate the uh, p then if that is not possible if p cannot be eliminated eliminated then <coughs> we can solve then then we can solve we can solve 1 and 3 then we can solve 1 and 3 for x and y for x and y to get x is equal to phi 1 of y comma c p comma c phi 1 some function of p comma c and y phi 2 of p comma c so if p cannot be eliminated then solve 1 and 3 for x and y to get in this form then these two together constitute the solution of the given differential equation. These two these two together these two together constitute constitute the solution constitute the solution of the given differential equation with p as parameter of the given differential equation with P as parameter.
with p as parameter. Okay, so let me consider few examples or equations which are solvable for x. The problem one. So this is can be written as two y p into d p by d y. So close the bracket. Then minus y minus p square y minus p square into y into differentiation of two p with respect to y into two into d p by d y. So let me simplify this first. So I'll be continuing here. Okay. <coughs> now dx by dy, but p is dy by dx. Therefore, one by p is dx by dy. So this is one by p is equal to. So let me multiply this first. Let me multiply the denominator. Four p square. Four p square. The numerator two p into one. 
टू पी माइनस टू पी क्यू माइनस टू पी क्यू माइनस फोर वाई पी स्क्वेर फोर वाई पी स्क्वेर इंटू डी पी बाई डी वाई इंटू डी पी बाई डी वाई दैन माइनस टू वाई डी पी बाई डी वाई माइनस टू वाई डी पी बाई डी वाई दैन प्लस प्लस टू पी स्क्वेर वाई टू पी स्क्वेर वाई इंटू डी पी बाई डी वाई इंटू डी पी बाई डी Simplify further. This is one by p. So take four p square to the left hand side. So this can be written as four p square divided by p is equal to a uh, two p two p uh, minus two p q four y p square two y p square d p by d y. Is minus two y p square d p by d y. Uh, okay, then minus two into y d p by d y. Okay. So this is point B. Four p take everything to the left hand side. Minus two p plus two p. Q plus two into y p square d p by d y plus two into y d p by d y. So taking all the terms to the left hand side, we get this minus two p plus plus y plus. So two p four p minus two p is two p. Plus two p q plus two into y p square into d p by d y plus two into y into d p by d y equal to zero. Now for that, if you carefully simplify, we can group like this. You see here, I can take two p outside from the first two term. So two p into One plus p square, one plus p square, plus. So here I can take two y dp by dy, two y dp by dy, two y dp by dy into two y that is p square here, p square plus one equal to zero. Now further I can write this as. Further I can write this as two into p. Plus two into d p by d y into one plus p square equal to zero. <coughs> For general solution, <coughs> we consider two p plus two into d p by d y is equal to zero, ignoring one plus p square, which leads to the singular solution of the given differential equation. For general solution. For general solution r consider 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 2p plus 2 into dp by dy equal to 0 Ignoring, ignoring the other possibility, one plus p square equal to zero, which leads to singular solution. Which leads, which leads to singular solution. 
singular solution which leads to singular solution okay so now consider 2p plus 2 into dp by dy equal to 0 so i can cancel this 2 therefore dp by dy is equal to minus p so this is 2 y y there is y here 2 into y so y is missed 2 into y 2 into y Two into y. So cancel two into y. So y into dp by dy is equal to minus p. Or so this is a first order differential equation, which can be solved easily by separating the variables. Separating the variables. Separating the variables. separating the variables we have dp by p is equal to minus d1 by y okay. so therefore its solution is integration of each side dp by p is equal to minus integral dy by y plus let me consider the integral constant as log c so integration of dp by p is log p is equal to minus log y plus log c. So further you can write this as log p is equal to log a minus b that is log c by y log c by y. So therefore p therefore p is p equal to c divided by 1. Now substitute this in 1. Substitute in 1. Substitute in 1. So our equation 1 is y is equal to that is a y is equal to 2 into Px plus P square y plus P square y. Now let me substitute okay, in this equation 1 for P which is equal to C by 1. So y is equal to 2 into C by y into x plus c square divided by y square into y. Okay. So, one y you can cancel here. Then we are left with <coughs> y is equal to 2 into cx divided by y plus a c square divided by y. Or R multiply through by y, y square is equal to 2cx plus c square. So, which is the required general solution of the given differential equation. So, 3, so call this as uh, x number 2. So, 2, so this is the 2 is the Required, required general solution, general solution of what? General solution of. Now we have to find singular solution of one also. 
A singular solution is obtained from this itself by differentiating partially two with respect to C and then eliminating C. Now to find to find the singular solution singular solution to find the singular, singular solution differentiate 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 to differentiate to partially with respect to C partially partially with respect to C partially with respect to C y is constant with respect to c, so 0. With respect to c, this is 2 into x. With respect to c, this is 2 into c. So therefore, c is equal to minus x. Therefore, c is equal to minus x. Substitute into, substitute into, substitute a to into then, then y square is equal to a 2 into minus x into x plus c square that is minus x the whole square minus x the whole square. So this is equal to y square is equal to minus 2 x square plus x square therefore y square is equal to minus x square or x square plus y square equal to 0. So this is the required singular solution of the given differential equation 1 which is the required which is the required singular solution singular solution of the given differential equation procedure of solving equations which are solvable for x only. So let me consider another example. Let me consider another example. Solve. Solve. P is equal to tan inverse tan of x minus p divided by 1 plus p square by solving for x by solving for x by solving for x by solving for x. Okay. The solution part. The solution. So we have we need to try, find only the general solution, not the singular solution. As for the problem statement, so given differential equation is p is equal to tan of x minus p divided by 1 plus p square or this as 1. So solve for x. Solve for x. Now this can be written as 
tan inverse p tan inverse p is equal to x minus p divided by 1 plus p square 1 plus p square so therefore x is equal to x is equal to tan inverse p tan inverse p plus p divided by 1 plus p square I have solved for x now now I have to differentiate this with respect to y so let me differentiate with respect to y differentiate with respect to y differentiate differentiate with respect to y with respect to y so therefore dx by dy dx by dy is equal to differentiation of tan of p is 1 divided by 1 plus p square into dp by dy into dp by dy plus you have a quotient here so apply quotient rule 1 plus p square whole square the numerator 1 plus p square into dp by dy into dp by dy minus minus p into differentiation of 1 plus p square with respect to y so 0 plus 2p into dp by dy so i can straight away write a 2p into dp by dy 2p into dp by dy okay now further i can <coughs> conveniently write this is 1 by p dx by dy is 1 over dy by dx that is 1 by p so 1 by p is equal to so i can take dp by dy throughout and outside so i can conveniently write this as 1 divided by 1 plus p square plus plus 1 plus p square minus 2 p square 1 plus p square minus 2 into p square 2 into p square divided by 1 plus p square whole square this entire thing is multiplied by dp by dy so further let me take LCM so 1 by p is equal to so this is uh, 1 minus p square okay so let me write this take x here 1 plus p square whole square so 1 plus p square comes here then plus the same thing 1 plus p square minus 2 p square 1 minus p square 1 minus p square into dp by dy into dp by dy so p square you can cancel so this is going to be 1 by p 2 divided by 1 plus p square into dp by dy so this is a first order ODE in p and y uh, this can be solved very easily by separating the variables separating the variables separating separating the variables
P dP divided by 1 plus P square is equal to 1 by 2 dy 1 by 2 or 2p so let, let me take 2 also here so is equal to dy uh, just here <coughs> dy is equal to 2p dp by 1 plus p square that's what is written here <coughs> or conveniently conveniently dy is equal to 2 into p dp divided by 1 plus p square. Now the variables are separated therefore its solution is integration of each side integral dy is equal to integral 2p dp divided by 1 plus p square plus some integral constant c. Now I can substitute for p okay? so put t is equal to 1 plus p square this is uh, uh, whole square sorry this is whole square 1 plus p square whole square eh? <coughs> 2 divided by 1 plus p square whole square so here yeah. also 1 plus p square whole square. So put t is equal to 1 plus p square, then its differential dt is 2p into dt. 2p dt. Okay. So therefore y is equal to integral 2p dp is dt. 1 plus p square is t. So this is p square plus some constant c. Now, integration of 1 by t square is minus 1 by t with respect to t plus c. But t is 1 plus p square. But your t is 1 plus p square. Therefore, y is equal to <coughs> minus 1 divided by 1 plus p square plus c. Okay. So here it is difficult to eliminate c uh, p uh, <coughs> from the relations 1 and this. So therefore we solve 1 and this equation for x and y and express x as a function of p and c, y as function of c, p and c and these two together constitute the general solution of the given differential equation. So equation, so I will call this as equation at 2, uh, there is, okay. So this is actually equation number 2 and this is 3. So equation 2 and 3 equations are relations 2 and 3 together together constitutes constitutes <coughs> the general solution the general solution of the given differential equation 1. So 2 is obtained by solving by solving the equation. Okay. <coughs> now let me consider another example. So, 
solve PQ minus 4 x into y into p plus n y square equal to 0 by solving by solving for x by solving for x The solution part. Solution part. The next, the given equation be thus PQ minus 4 into x into y into p plus 8 into y square equal to 0. So call this as equation number 1. Okay. <coughs> Solve for P x. Solve for x. So you can easily make out. Uh, if you solve for x, 4 x into y into p, 4 x y into p is equal to p q plus 8 into y square. Therefore, x is equal to pq plus a y square divided by 4 into x into y into p 4 y p. Now differentiate this with respect to y. Differentiate differentiate with respect to y. Thus, dx by dy is equal to four into y into p whole square. So in the numerator, four into y into p put a bracket three p square three p square into dp by dy plus 8y square uh, 16 into y 16 into y close the bracket minus pq pq plus 8y square 8y square into Differentiation of 4 into y into p, that is 4p into 1 plus product rule 4y dp by dy. 4y dp by dy. Now if we simplify this, this will reduce to R simplification. So I will skip what are the simplification which are very simple you just multiply write this as 1 by p eh? write this as 1 by p take this to the left hand side like in the first problem if you uh, repeat all the simplifications for this particular uh, expression then this leads to on simplification so I will just write on simplification on simplification uh, with dx by dy is equal to 1 divided by p with dx by dy is equal to 1, 1 divided by p we get we get p minus 2 into y dp by dy dp by dy into pq pq minus 4y square minus 4y square equal to 0. Now for general solution we consider p minus 2y dp by dy equal to 0. Consider 
for general solution for general solution solution consider consider p minus 2y p minus 2y dp by dy equal to 0 ignoring ignoring the other possibility ignoring the other possibility that is pq minus 4 into y square equal to 0 which leads which leads to a singular solution singular solution which leads to singular solution so p minus 2y into dp by dy is equal to 0 which is the first order ODE in y and p separating the variables separating the variables separating the variables we have 2 into y is to dp by dy dp by dy is equal to p so therefore dp by p is equal to 1 by 2 dy by 1 1 by 2 or dy by 2 y dy divided by 2 into y and therefore, its solution is integration of each side. So, dp by p is equal to integral. So, 1 by 2 can take outside. 1 by 2 can be written outside. Integral dy by y plus log c for some convenience. The log integration, the constant of integration. Log C. Log C. Now, integral of dp by p is log p is equal to 1 by 2 log y plus log C. Okay. <coughs> then, I can write this as log p is equal to log root y or y power r plus log c plus log c then further I can write this as log p is equal to log c into y power r y power r so therefore p is c into root y r y power r now substitute this in 1 substitute in 1 substitute in 1 substitute in 1 then pq c into cq into y power 3 by 2 cq y power 3 by 2 3 by 2 
minus 4 into x into y p c into y power 1 by 2 plus a y square equal to 0. Okay. Now, after simplification, this can be reduced to after simplification after simplification we worked at after simplifying we worked at c into c square minus 4x is equal to minus a into y power r. After such a simplification, we obtain this, which can be easily reduced eh, from this equation. So, squaring both sides, squaring both sides, I get c square, c square minus 4x whole square is equal to 64 into y, which is the required general solution of the given equation 1, which is the, which is the required, eh, which is the required general solution general solution of 1. So, let me consider the next <coughs> equation which is solvable for y. So, let me consider another topic where we solve the differential equation which is of first order and higher degree by solving for y. The next part of the self-study component equations solve for y. Equations solve for y. The method is very similar to what we have seen in the previous case that is equation solvable for y. So, here instead of solving for x, if possible we solve for y and then differentiate with respect to x and proceed further. So, the general procedure is this if the equation if the equation, if the equation is solvable, is solvable for y, then we can express, then we can express then we can express we can express y explicitly then we can express y explicitly in terms of x and P in terms of x and p that is y is equal to a function of x and p or this equation 1. Differentiate differentiate 1 
with respect to x differentiate y with respect to x then dy by dx is equal to f of function of x p and dp by dx dp by dx call this as equation number one. Okay. <coughs> Equation two. Equation two is a first order. First order ordinary differential equation. differential equation in x and p in x and p in x and p okay. suppose the solution of two suppose the solution Solution of equation two is phi of x comma p comma c equal to zero. P comma c equal to zero. So call this as equation number three. Now, elimination, elimination of P from elimination of P from one and three, one and three. Gives, gives the required, gives the required solution, the general solution of the given differential equation one, of one. If p cannot be eliminated, if p Cannot be eliminated. Eliminated. If P cannot be eliminated, then then we solve one and three. Then we solve one. And three for x and y to get to get x is equal to some function of p and c y is some other function of p and C, P and C. Okay. These two together, these two together constitutes constitutes the general solution. The required. Required general solution, general solution of one of the given differential equation one 
with p as parameter with p as parameter with p as parameter dx, I get 1 here, x 
into p goes so minus 2x cube dp p minus 2 2 1x has gone so minus 2x cube and dp by dx is here so minus 2x cube p equal to 0. Now further I can write this as 2p plus x into dp by dx into 1 minus 2x cube p equal to 0. So for general solution we consider this factor equal to 0. For general solution or consider consider one possibility 2p plus x into dp by dx equal to 0 ignoring ignoring the other possibility other possibility other possibility that is 1 minus 2 into x cube into p equal to 0. The reason is which leads to singular solution which leads to singular so 2p, so therefore x dp by dx is equal to minus 2p, minus 2p. Separating the variables this is a first order body in terms of x and p. Separating, separating the variables variables we get dp by p is equal to minus 2 dx by x so therefore solution is integration of each side so integral dp by p is equal to minus 2 dx by x plus Internal constant, let me take it as log c. So, this is going to be log p is equal to minus 2 log x plus log c. Or this is uh, log x power minus 2 plus log c. So, therefore, uh, log p log p is equal to log c into x power minus 2. Therefore, p is c into x power minus 2, x power minus 2, or p is equal to c divided by x power. Okay. Now, let me substitute this in equation 1. Substitute in 1. Substitute in 1. Substitute in 1. So this is a 1, equation 1. So y plus p c divided by x square into x is equal to x power 4 p square that is c square divided by x square square x power 4. Okay. So I can cancel this x power 4. Then 1x you can cancel. So y plus c divided by x. y plus c divided by x is equal to c square. Or y into x plus c is equal to c square into x or yx minus c square x c square x plus c 
is equal to 0 is the required which is the required general solution of the given equation which is the required required general solution general solution of one general solution of one Okay, with this I will conclude today's session. In the next class, I will be continuing few more examples on equations solvable for y and then finally the application of ordinary differential equation to LR circuits. Thank you.